Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with the first episode of Destroy All Humans. Because while well, Fables decided to shit the bed, I figured I should uh, bring in a new game. And this is one that came out that was a good part of my childhood. <laughs> when I was a little kiddo and uh, kind of evolved my humor. A little bit, just a bit. So, uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's get started. Uh, this is not the first boot up, but this is uh, where I'm gonna start a new game. Uh, since I got the game, I haven't I haven't really gotten too much into it. Uh, I am very rusty. It's been uh decade and a half <laughs> feels like since I have played this game at all so uh yeah we'll uh, see how it goes uh oh I don't even have a save file that's weird I could have sworn I did oh well hello friends have you ever gazed up into the night sky and wondered at the possibility of life on other planets? What marvelous beings might exist out there, hands extended in friendship, awaiting the moment when we humans take our first tentative steps into space? What tales will be told of that glorious day when we are first contacted by our brothers from beyond the stars? About that. <laughs> yeah. I guess this is the first go, one of the first rocket tests Four. back in the fifties, because that's baby, where this show set us what you got. Three. What the oh. hell? That, that's Two. a proper response to what seeing something like that. Is that. One. Go. You you Three. couldn't stop the count now. Too late for that. That, uh, that was unfortunate, and a little surprising that T didn't notice that the uh, rocket underneath him was going to go off. One would think he would have, uh, realized, hey, there's a, a lot of thrusters starting to go off. I should probably move. <laughs> Scared out of his pants. <laughs> yeah. And to be fair, that gun looks like it's pretty heavy. On its own. I'm surprised he tried to lift it with one hand. And uh, he's dead. He is dead. -led. Incompetent fool. I should never have sent you. Okay. What uh, shaking, uh, Pox? Isn't that? You look a little, what's the word? Constipated. I don't think that's Let's the word that you were reaching for. Let's just say I hope you turn out for. to be less of an evolutionary dead end than your predecessor. You lost me. Okay. Shall I tell you a secret? Few of our people know this, but the DNA patterns in our cloning banks are becoming more and more degraded with each new clone. Mm -hmm. that's okay, bad, that's fair. Right? Explains Only if why you look the same as the other guy. Only through cloning. Of course it's bad! Yeah. I sent Crypto-136 in search of a planet we visited many eons ago. A planet seeded with pure Furon DNA. But I lost contact. Hmm. Let me get this straight. You sent me, uh, him, Crypto-136, to a hostile planet, and he's disappeared. Maybe captured. Maybe even being tortured as we speak. Well, yeah. I wouldn't jump to any conclusion. I bet you wouldn't. Let me tell you something, Pops. He, he's You're indignant. A smart cookie. But there's a time for thought, and there's a time for action. And this is one of those times. Which? The second one. <laughs> Perhaps you're right, 137. Of course I'm right. You kidding me? A cryptosporidium captured by a bunch of monkeys? We gotta go in. 
<laughs> we gotta crack some graniums. We gotta rescue me. Him. He's gotta rescue me. I mean, we gotta... I gotta... Brain plan. When do I get to blow things up? Patience, Crypto. Patience. <laughs> I take your point. So. Prepare the mothership. That's what I'm talking about. So, what's the name of this crummy planet? Our destination. The planet Earth. It's supposed to be all scary when it was very clearly planet Earth. Okay, let's turn on subtitles so I don't have to deal with that problem anymore. Uh, alrighty. Beautiful. <laughs> now... Now I can fucking talk all over the fucking audio and not fuck up the rest of the fucking uh, hearing experience for you guys. Guys, you'll have that there. Auto save successful. Awesome. I could have sworn I booted this up. I'm a little surprised at myself, actually. Um, all right. The hangar is where we start the missions. Archives is where we learn shit. Uh, B movie theater. Some assem some assembly required. <laughs> Furonigami? I don't fucking know. That's supposed to be Furon propaganda. Oh, okay. That's the uh, some of the uh, making of shit. Furon handbook, cortex scan. Oh, this is okay. I'm uh. I'm a little confused. Some of these are already unlocked, which means I've already played the game. But, uh... Okay, then. Anyway, invasion report. This would be the stuff I've done. Oh, just one crypto clone created. Okay, and this is the game stats. All right. Okay. Cool beans. All right, Pox's lab. Where I gotta upgrade Welcome shit. Welcome to my little laboratory. You may yes. not know this, but I flatter myself to be something of an inventor. In my right. Spare time, I've like I flatter myself to be a writer. Impressive weapon and ability upgrades. I'd be happy to share them with you if you've got something for me in trade. Say some of that delicious DNA you've collected. Delicious. Delicious. That is the first time I've heard that pronunciation. All Something right. Something for your gun or a okay. brain implant? Wise choice. Alrighty, so I have literally nothing I can get. This is a for upgrade, perhaps. No. How about your gun or your abilities? Mm. Yeah, this is where I upgrade everything that I have. Okay, that's cool. Alrighty. Um, what's the audio settings at? Huh. It seems a little strangely low. That is weird. I don't know what to think of that. Alright, well, screw it. Maybe that's just my headset. Making it seem low. Anywho. Uh, yeah. We'll just continue on. With Turnip Seed Farm. And Destination Earth. First thing we're going to do on Earth is visit a farm. How delightfully cliche. <laughs> the title cards are possibly the coolest thing. Plan 9 from outer space, okay. Alright, there's already a couple weird things going on here textures just barely loading in. And we land. Why is my phone going off? That's weird. Okay. I'll have to check that in a second. Orthopox to Cryptosporidium 137. Come in, Cryptosporidium. Crypto here. How's the view from the safety of the mothership? Very funny. Let's just say I'm glad I'm up here and you're down there. Loser That's a reference. Now, Crypto, 
To ensure this invasion runs smoothly, it is imperative we identify the dominant life forms on this world. Yep, because there will be one. Those bovoids are likely candidates. Um, Surely you don't mean those foul-smelling <laughs> gas bags beyond the fence. To be yes, fair, that's entirely. But they're covered in nipples. <laughs> no, Cryptosporidium. <laughs> It's entirely not possible in any respect. You may look manipulating the right thumbstick. You can move about the area using the left thumbstick. Yep. Okay, I know all of this. I'm just rusty in many respects. Okay, that's a scan. Okay. That's uh, that's a thing. I guess we gotta go over here and. You will be receiving. Huh. Psychokinetic telemetry from the mothership. The data will appear on that area map or as virtual indicators floating above noteworthy creatures and objects in your vicinity. We can huh. peer into the minds of lower life forms via the cortex scan. Rip the proliterate thoughts from their pathetic little brains. Okay, let's uh, do that then, because that's what the game's asking of me. Primitive, yet profound. Scan another one. Profound. Yeah, about that. <laughs> yeah, about that. They eat with their mouths. Uh, How do you I think eat? I'm going to be violently ill. Ew. Attention, Earth creature. Okay. This planet is now part of the Furon Empire. Your benevolent masters welcome you. Welcome you? They were here first. At this time, Ish. we wish to abduct you for the purpose of scientific research. The procedure will be protracted and invasive. Do you have any objections? <laughs> At least he's being polite and asking. At least there's Earth that. Earth creature, I am addressing you. Respond or be vaporized. Okay, that was gross. I don't gross. care how many stomachs you have. I don't have time for this. Yeah, okay then. We that was gross. We've the astounding power of psychokinesis. Target an object or creature, then pull and hold the left trigger. While doing uh -huh. this, tap the Y button to lift the target into the sky. Alrighty. And whoop. And it did. <laughs> Just like lifting it up is enough to drop it at a heavy impact. Then hurl the bovines by double tapping the Y button. I don't want to hurl them. Well, maybe this one. Just hurl it right into the tree. Ooh! <laughs> it popped this one right before it hit, but I could hear the crack start. Ugh. Using the mental abilities range concentration, uh, which is the bar right on the left hand side there. So, makes it pretty obvious. Whee! Ooh! Well, not like cats. You don't land on your feet, that's for sure. Alright, so up we go. And. Well, they're dead now. They, they were just in the field with me. Oh, Martha! You didn't tell me we was having barbecue for dinner? No. Wait a minute. That ain't steak. That's holy mother Martha, give me the shotgun. Uh-oh. I've been observed. Ah! Pull out the Zapomatic. Alrighty. Do in fact have weapons. Oh, do Try I? Try it now and give that puny farmer a taste of the old Zapomatic. Yep, let's do that. And that did not take much at all. Huh. Brain extraction. Target the farmer's corpse and pull and hold L, the extract ability. Okay. Alrighty. And I just pulled a brain out the head. And it's mine now. Oh, it has, D it has our DNA in it. Okay. Explains a lot. Come right. on back. You've got to see this. they got a talking horse on the TV. Mr. Ed. <laughs> <seen> nothing like... <laughs> <laughs> That's the thing you take offense to? The green part? Okay. Well, I guess. Alright. Kill the farmhands. I guess 
They all look the same as the farmer who I just killed. Which, I mean, that's limitations of the uh, game and engine way back then, I guess. That makes sense. Alright, so... I'm starting to get back into the hang of it. And if I remember correctly, you can extract the brain while they're alive. It just takes a lot more concentration that way. Yep. And uh, that one had a 25-er. From the look of that color. If I'm starting to remember things correctly. It's been a while. It's been a long while. Evening, Ms. Turnip Seed. We got a call from Farmer Dixon over the other side of the state road. Said he heard some pretty strange noises coming from over this way. What you is that? You are not wrong. A new silo? Crypto! No, that that's my shit. law enforcement officer is attempting an unauthorized entry of your spacecraft. If those people... He doesn't look like he's trying to enter. On your Just looks like he's looking at it. They could rip a hole in the space-time continuum. Yeah, that part's bad, Ooh, though. The Furonity. Vaporize them, Crypto! Okay. Well, in that case... Yep, I killed both of them. These are not the accents you had in the cutscene. Well, I, I want to get the brains out. That's that's like a good portion of what this game's supposed to be about, isn't it? Getting the fucking DNA. And if the brains have the DNA, you might as well get all the fucking brains I can. Alright, let's enter the saucer. And, uh... I guess we'll be in the saucer for some destruction. Yes. <laughs> That's what I was hoping for. Move the UFO with the left thumbstick. Destroy Rotate the human dwellings. The okay. With the right this should be simple, even for a lower life. Excuse me. I thought I was relatively the same as you. That was rude. Okay, well. There we go. Let's burn these down, and down they go. Oh boy, they brought a tank. Move up, man! Move, move, move! And a lot of soldiers. Oh, great. The human military industrial complex. We can't allow them to alert their leaders to our presence. Exterminate them! Now! Yep. Can do. Uh-oh. At, I mean, their small little weapons aren't going to do much, but the tank, however, that guy is going to be a problem. Oh, boy. Well, that did not do too much. Oh, and the saucer takes damage. The hull integrity is reduced. Yep, Look yep, out. makes sense. There are more to the north of the bushes. Thought, thought I was aiming right on them. Guess I wasn't. Oh, well. More to the... Oh, I see. Forgot a lot about the little mini-map that would have... Their the markers. Ah! Jesus. Fuck, you came out of nowhere. Wipe them out. Well, I can do that. I can do that part. Pretty easily. You led that shot pretty damn well, I'll admit. But, I guess I'm gonna have to take a couple hits to make sure I'm on target. There we go. Managed to dodge it. There we go. Did it. Took a while, but I did it. All that wanton destruction. And PS2 era graphics. Did you see what I saw? You bet your sweet ass I did. What did you see? Little green man in a flying saucer. So you just lied? Okay. The best infantry unit in the U.S. Army. Right. Good. Me too. Green? Not gray? Don't be a stiff. You know what it means? Absolutely. What? It means the papers got it right for once. Get on the horn to Silhouette. We've got the worst case scenario. The worst case we're scenario, onto something? I don't believe it. Believe it. Roswell the eggheads the usually are the right on a lot of stuff. On. Roswell is only the beginning. Roswell. Huh. Cattle mutilation pandemic. Farmer disappears amidst cow abuse allegations. 
Well, because the farmer's dead, and I was the one who killed the cows. So, you will need to land a saucer to harvest DNA. Okay. What the? Alrighty. I guess someone saw me and started freaking out a little. Oh, well. And I guess these little yellow clips, yellow goldish clips. Goldenrod. That was the color I was looking for in my head. Goldenrod clips are, uh, for a thing. Yes. <laughs> oh, I am fucking 12. Okay. <laughs> anal probe. <laughs> Cycle to the anal probe. Okay. I can do that. Yep. And I'm taking your brain now. At least I don't have to deal with ammo with this thing. That's the... Whoa. Whoa. Okay. That... I don't know why that happened. <laughs> but, uh... That was the thing. Okay. So, the next mission will unlock after I gather a specific set of DNA. A specific amount set of DNA. I wonder what this thing is. This fuck this weird thing over here. Oh. It's a DNA probe. How long has that been there? Also, there's one over there. Are they... And it said that there was a number of them here. Was there like a huge portion of them before I came down here? How many of them was there? Twenty-five. I can return to the mothership for the next mission, buy upgrades, and view the archives from the Furon mothership. Okay, I can just go back to the mothership at any time now. Cool. So, I have three of 25 here. I, I'm definitely not going to collect all of them, but considering how small the map is, I might be able to do it. No real problem. But uh, that depends on a lot of things. Namely, me being good at this game. Which, there's no guarantee of that. Yep, got the brain out of you. Got the brain out of you. This one's for Bessie. Okay, well. Bessie's a... Oh! Good thing for those shields that I have on my person. Whoops, I didn't have it fully charged. Guess not. Okay. And... Thank you for the brain. All right, cool. Okay, I think we can uh, call this an episode now, now that we've done all the things. Oh, Lordy. Uh, all the things that are required of us to learn what we're doing, which is killing all humans and taking their brain stems for nefarious purposes. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more, and click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and coming from the mothership to enact weird sort of semi-revenge on the human populace by going to the absolutely wrong place from where the first Cryptosporidium was, and uh, taking brains from farmers, because that's good for you. <laughs>